Where does the origin of your passion for taking care of animals come from? Well, you know, I've always wanted to do good. You know, I grew up being encouraged to get a job, make money, uh, make a you know, comfortable living, but that never felt right. You know, I, I saw so many problems in the world around me in terms of you know, people suffering, animal suffering, um, the environment being destroyed, and I just didn't want to be part of it. So mm -hmm. uh, as time went, I learned more and more about what happens to animals on factory farms. I learned about the, the many harms caused to the environment, to rural communities, to consumers, and uh, so in the mid-1980s, I co-founded Farm Sanctuary to take this on. And, um, you know, I am very inspired when people change. Um, you know, all of us grow up in a certain way, and mm -hmm. we can usually learn. Sure. Uh, and, and sometimes the lessons we're taught when we're young uh, aren't ne necessarily the best. And um, as I grew up, I started recognizing that, you know, the way I was eating was contributing to harm. Um, and so I decided to become a vegan and not to eat any animal products. As children, at least our age, uh, growing up, we weren't really taught to eat organically. Um, food wasn't even discussed really. It was the beginning of the age of fast food as yeah. we were growing up. Yeah. And we kind of were just out on our own, no real education, find something to eat. That's exactly right. You know, in fast food restaurants were very accessible. They were very convenient. And uh, so we all tended to eat that way. Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't really ever make a conscious choice to eat meat, milk, and eggs, or to think very much about what I was eating. And, but as time went, I started recognizing the harms. And you know, today we look at obesity, which is epidemic in our country. Cancer and heart disease are huge problems. Um, global warming has also been linked to this industrial animal agriculture system. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the animals who are suffering on these factory farms. So, um, thankfully now there's more awareness and organic food is on the rise and concern about animals and the environment is on the rise. As a child you had the unfortunate experience of dealing with something. Can you share that with us? Well, I mean, one of my early memories was of a deer that was stuck in a chain link fence across the street from my parents' house. Mm -hmm. And um, that showed me that human activities have consequences on others. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also remember as a child you know, as the houses got bigger, wild areas were being cut down, trees were being cut down, and, and those things viscerally affected me and I think helped shape, you know, who I am today. You know, as, as we grow older, our relationships with many things change, especially with animals. Can you share that? Yeah, yeah, I think as children there's sort of a purity and sort of a, a, a natural understanding of other animals and a connection with other animals, but you know, as we grow up, you know, we start being told that, you know, animals don't have feelings like we do or animals are here for particular purposes. And oftentimes we believe this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially when most people around us are relating to other animals in, you know, what may be harsh ways mm -hmm. um, and may routinely be consuming meat, milk and eggs without really thinking about how the animals were raised. Um, and bad starts becoming normal. <laughs> Uh, and we start developing habits, and sometimes those become calcified. And I think it's important for people to examine their behaviors, examine their uh, food choices, and examine you know, how their behavior affects others, and try to make decisions that are consistent with their own values and their own interests. 